know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? If Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son, then he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Now, watch this. I can't tell if this was storage or trash. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. Are you looking for a new career in science? Cambridge Polymer Labs is San Francisco Sunlights. Dog meat pick up the center. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy, let's track him. Pit stops. Keep your eyes open. Lost the scent boy? Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track me. this. That nose is second to none. Okay, boy, let's track him. something. You know the drill. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy.
decoy, huh? Clever. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. Tracking known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Another one of his stogies. Getting close. I can feel it. Look around. We're at the old army base. Is he hiding out here? Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Hey. Is there something you need? Nick. What do you need? Your thoughts? Dog meat did a heck of a job. Kellogg's in there. Somewhere. That was all I had. Well, all right. Front entrance is boarded up. Maybe there's another way in?
Protect Pillow. You see him? Came a long way. Let's hear it. Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. So where is it, huh? This institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the institute. The institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Question is, are you? anyone else we should take a look around get all the intel this place can hide all this tech you were barely human
Hey, Valentine. So, Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. You don't know anything, Nick? Look at me. I'm trash. They threw me in the junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. Didn't exactly leave me the house keys. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. How could Piper help us? Trust me, that dame knows a lot more than she lets on. And she lets on a lot. If I know her, she's done her homework. And we need to talk this through with someone. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker. But it won't last forever. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access, in and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Yeah. Any... Other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know... We may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Romari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Omari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? 
We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Um, by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started.